In 2023, Ronald Acuna Jr. put together a season for the ages, blending his combination of power and speed to unprecedented levels as he blasted 41 home runs and stole an MLB best 73 bases, creating the first ever 40-70 club. Fortunately for Acuna, his 104 win Atlanta Braves meant the Phillies once again in the playoffs and their fairy tale ride of a season ended early as the Phillies went on yet another deep playoff run led by Bryce Harper. Between the Atlanta Braves, the Philadelphia Phillies, and even the New York Mets, the National League East is a division that is full of star players. Let's look into the top 10 star players in the National League East heading into the 2024 season. Coming in at number one on our list is Ronald Acuna Jr., the reigning National League MVP. Last year, Acuna hit 337 with a 416 on base and a 596 slug. He led the league in runs scored by a healthy margin with 149 runs. He set career highs across the board, driving in 106 runs, finished the year with a whopping 86 extra base hits, and his 170 WRC plus trailed only Shohei Otani as he was the second best hitter in all of baseball. Still just 26 years old, Acuna is set to remain in the MVP conversation for years to come as he is in his absolute prime. Coming in at number two on our list is Francisco Lindor. Lindor does not have the same ability to carry a lineup like the other players on this list, but when it comes to all-around talent, few players are better than Lindor. Since he entered the league back in 2015, there have only been two players in Major League Baseball who have been more valuable based on Fangrass wins above replacement, Mookie Betts and Mike Trout. Lindor has posted an F-war of at least four in every full season of his career and has eclipsed six wins in each of the last two seasons. The only other players who have eclipsed an F-war of at least six in the last two years are Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman. A lot of Lindor's value comes from his work defensively at shortstop, where he leads all Major League Baseball with 93 outs above average since the 2018 season. Second best on that list is Nolan Arenado at 67 outs above average. While he is no more for his defense than his bat, Lindor has still posted a WRC plus of at least 120 in each of the last two years and has driven in a combined total of 205 runs. Although it pales in comparison to Ronald Acuna Jr.'s 4070 club, Lindor joined the 3030 club for the first time last year. Number three in our list is the most accomplished player in the National League East. Of course, we're talking about Bryce Harper. Harper has become a legend in Philadelphia with his last two postseason runs, but that first World Series title still eludes him. While winning it all is the main prize, this is a big regular season for Bryce Harper as he makes a full-time transition to first base. It's a new era for Harper as the Phillies hope that by keeping their face of the franchise at first, they can keep him on the field and in the middle of their lineup for years to come. If Harper can stay healthy for 150 plus games, there might just be another MVP season in his future. Matt Olson checks in at number four on our list as he led Major League Baseball last year in both home runs and MVPs. Olson hit 283 with a 389 on base and a 604 slug, and he smacked 54 home runs and drove in 139. Typically, that's an MVP season, but with his teammate Ronald Cunha Jr. and those teammates out in LA with the Dodgers and Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman, Olson only finished fourth. Still, he took home his first career silver slugger and dating back to 2019, there's only one player in Major League Baseball who has hit more home runs and has driven in more runs than Matt Olson. We'd tell you who that player is, but their name's going to come up a couple of slots down in our list. Rounding out our top five, we have yet another Atlanta Brave, Austin Riley. Austin Riley is one of the most consistent players in Major League Baseball. He's going to play every day, he's going to hit for a high average, and he has cleared 30 home runs in each of the last three seasons. Since 2021, Austin Riley has hit 286 with a 354 on base percentage and a 525 slugging percentage. That's good for a 135 WRC+. You can pencil him in for 35 home runs a season with over 90 runs driven in and an F war of at least five. Once a shaky defender when he entered the league, Austin Riley has improved year over year at third base and is now quietly one of the best defenders at the hot corner. Over the last three seasons, Riley's 28 defensive runs saved 
is the third best mark in all of baseball. Now let's get back to that league leader when it comes to run production since 2019. Pete Alonso checks in at number six as he has led all hitters with 192 home runs and 498 runs batted in since his rookie season. An argument can be made that Pete Alonso endured a career worst year in 2023, yet he still managed to hit 46 home runs and drive in 118. While you could poke some holes in his defense at first base, what you can't ignore is the constant run production of Pete Alonso. His career low when it comes to home runs in a season is 37. His career low in RBIs is 94, both of those coming back in 2021. In every other full season of his MLB career, he has cleared at least 40 home runs and 100 RBIs. Entering a contract year at 29 years old, you can expect some massive numbers from Pete Alonso this season. Coming into last season, Trey Turner would have ranked much higher on this list, and there's every chance that putting him at number 7 is way too low. Prior to last year, Turner put up two consecutive six-win seasons and was widely regarded as one of, if not the best shortstop in all of baseball. Then he signed with the Phillies, and the early part of the season was a real struggle for Turner. The fans got behind him, and the numbers eventually came. Across the final two months of the season, Turner hit 317 with a 371 on base and a 629 slugging percentage. He had 16 home runs, had a 165 WRC plus, all of that in just 51 games played, and during that stretch, he had a 2.8 F war, which was responsible for most of his 3.8 F war for this season. Putting his whole season together, Turner had a 108 WRC plus last year, which is why he falls to number seven on our list. There's not a player above him who finished with a WRC plus less than 120 last year. With all that said, the counting stats were still there for Turner, who hit 26 home runs, scored 102 times, and stole 30 bases. At just 30 years old, Turner is still one of the most athletic players in baseball and has every chance to have a full bounce back this year to being one of the best performers in this division. Number 8 on our list is one of the most underrated players in baseball who has still yet to make an appearance in the All-Star game. We are talking about Brandon Nimmo. Do you want to hear a mind-blowing stat about Nimmo that will explain just how underrated he has been compared to the best hitters in the game? Nimmo has a career WRC Plus of 133. Now that's a stat that measures hitters based on a league average of 100. So for his career, Nimmo has been 33% better than your league average hitter. But that's not the mind-blowing part. Nimmo has finished the year with a WRC Plus of at least 130 on five separate occasions. There's only one other hitter in the National League East who can say that, other than Brandon Nimmo, and it's Bryce Harper, who's done it eight times. Now there's some small sample size mixed in there. There was the COVID season of 2020, where he posted a career best 149 WRC Plus. There's also the 2021 season, where he was limited to 92 games played due to injuries. Still, when in the box, Brandon Nemo has been one of the most productive hitters in baseball, and he's been healthy the last two years, posting an F war of 9.5 across that span. The soon-to-be 31-year-old hit a career-high 24 home runs last year, and if he can continue to improve that power while maintaining his strong on-base numbers, he's only going to remain one of the most productive players in this division for years to come. It is only fitting that we go from a WRC plus darling like Brandon Nemo and immediately follow it up with a man that defies all advanced statistics, and that is Kyle Schwarber coming in at number 9 on our list. I don't care what Fangrass tells us about wins above replacement or way to runs created plus, sometimes we can get paralysis by analysis when it comes to a player like Schwarber where we try to talk ourselves out of him being a great player. Let me just ask you this question. How many players in all of Major League Baseball have hit over 90 home runs in the past two seasons? The answer is two, Aaron Judge and Kyle Schwarber. The absolute embodiment of a three true outcome hitter, Kyle Schwarber does not hit for a high average. He didn't even hit over 200 last year, but he walks a ton to get on base, he hits the ball over the fence, might strike out a lot, but it is not a coincidence that the Phillies have had two great seasons ever since they brought in Kyle Schwarber. Last but not least, to round out our top 10 best players in the National League East, we have Michael Harris II. Harris brings incredible value out in center field for the Atlanta Braves, 
with his amazing defensive prowess. He is the second coming of Andrew Jones out there. He won the Rookie of the Year in 2022, but did endure a bit of a sophomore slump in the first half of 2023. Yet he flipped the script in the second half, hitting 325 with a 356 on base and a 522 slug to raise his batting average over 290 for the second year in a row. He was one home run away from the 2020 club in his rookie season, and then he was two home runs shy of it in 2023. If that's his floor, a 2020 contributor with the speed and the power while being a gold glove caliber center fielder, that is an incredibly valuable player. But there might even be more that he can tap into as he progresses in his big league career where he could rise even higher up on this list. Beyond our top 10, there are some second basemen in the National League East that deserve mentioning, like Luis Arise for the Marlins coming off a batting title, Ozzy Albies who hit 33 home runs and drove in 109 for the Braves last year, Bryson Stott, who nearly had a four-win season in his sophomore campaign, stole 31 bases, hit 15 home runs, and is one of the best defensive second basemen in all of baseball, and even Jeff McNeil, who's a two-time All-Star who won a batting title in 2022. The National League East is filled with star talent right now, particularly when you look at the Atlanta Braves, the Philadelphia Phillies, and the New York Mets. The Braves lead the pack with four of our top 10 when it comes to star talent. The Phillies and the Mets each had three. The Marlins had an honorable mention in her eyes. And the Nationals, well, they're still a work in progress. This is set to be a great division in 2024, as anytime you turn on a game with two at least foes, you are sure to see plenty of star talent on the field.